And um, I want to give you a quote. Uh, the quote is this, quote, a simple one-celled bacterium, R. coli, contains DNA information units that are the equivalent of 100 million pages of Encyclopedia Britannica, unquote. And that quote is from the Encyclopedia Britannica. <clears throat> now, cells uh, have a functional unit called proteins. That's their basic unit. And uh, even in a bacterial cell, there's thousands of different proteins. And not to get technical, but proteins are found down in a smaller building block called amino acids. And there's hundreds in one protein. And they have to be in the right order. And uh, some of your listeners, I'm sure, have heard of Francis Crick. He won the Nobel Prize for co-discovering the structure of DNA. And he calculated what the odds would be of getting a protein by chance, you know, in the ancient ocean. You know what the odds are, according to Francis Crick? The odds are 1 in 10 to the power of 260. And if you want to know how big a number that is, you couldn't fit that many electrons in the known universe. Hmm. Uh, mathematicians usually say that anything with odds greater than 1 in 10 to the power of 50 is impossible. So it would be impossible to get one protein by chance, let alone the thousands a cell would need. And think about it. A cell would need the ability to ingest nutrients, expel waste. And really think about this one. This first cell formed by chance before it died in the span of one lifetime would have had to develop and perfect the process of cellular reproduction because if it didn't, there never would have been a second cell and Darwin's evolutionary process would stop right there.